Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to add Microsoft Excel row for Zoho form submission. So every time a form is submitted that you have created using Zoho forms, you will get the complete entry recorded in your Microsoft Excel workbook. So you can do this by creating an automation with the help of Pabli Connect, where our trigger will be the new form submission from Zoho forms and our action will be adding new row in this Microsoft Excel workbook. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can record all the form submissions that you receive through your Zoho form in your MS Excel sheet. So let us quickly sign in into our account. That will take me to this page where I can see all the applications provided to you by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Add Microsoft Excel rows for Zoho form submission. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see trigger and action, the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation works. Before that, I would like to remind you the two major applications that are Zoho forms and MS Excel. Please open that in separate tabs so that it will be easier for you to connect it with Pabli Connect and also to make changes whatever you require for this workflow. So let us understand the trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place manually or we can say that we are going to perform that change and that will trigger the action application to perform the assigned action. Like here, our trigger is going to be Zoho forms because the form submission will happen and that is going to trigger this workflow, which in turn enable the action application, which is going to be MS Excel to add a new row about that form submission over here. Like I have created these columns and they are the same as my created form over here. So I have created a form with the fields as first name, last name, subject, topic and class of the student. And I have also created a worksheet where you can see the first name, last name, subject, topic and class of the student. So all the details that the student will be filling up over here in this form will be reflected over here in the spreadsheet, which means no checking of the forms again and again. You can have all the data collected over here. So let us understand now how to create this workflow. Choose the trigger event as new form submitted so that every new form submitted will be brought over here as a response like you can see capture webhook response. Now why is it called webhook response? Because our Zoho which is our trigger application and our public connect will be connected using a webhook URL. First of all we will connect this webhook URL to Zoho form so that all the new form submitted will be brought over here as a response from this webhook URL. Alright, that is why it is called capture webhook response. Now, in order to integrate, we are going to use this URL. These are the instructions given over here. We need to follow them. So first of all, copy this webhook URL from here and go to your Zoho forms and open the editing or the builder page of that form on which you want to work. Then you will find integrations over here like you can see. Click on integrations and then scroll down and find webhooks. Here you will find a field called webhook URL. Here you have to paste the URL that you have copied from your workflow. The content type is application slash JSON which is given to you over here. You have to choose this one and then you have to give parameters in the fields. So these parameter and fields are the same as your fields. Like I'm going to write over here first name so it detects the name in the same format. Then click on this plus button and then the last name and map the fields like that. So like I have mapped all of these, nothing else is left. Just click on this save button and it is saved and our integration is done over here. Now we will go back to the builder and also access form. So it will be opened in a separate tab where we can fill the form and make a submission. Like you can see, coming back to our workflow, we have it waiting for a webhook response. So let us now make a sample submission so that we receive the data over here as a response. The first name, last name, subject and topic of the science exhibition I'm going to enter over here as a student. So I have entered the first name, last name, the subject of the science subject, a topic of that subject and class and section of the student. I will click on submit and here the response has been submitted. Going back to our workflow, we will wait for the response to arrive over here with all the details that we have filled in the form. 
and here we have a response we have the topic subject names and also the class of this student so all the fields that were present in the form have been transferred to here as a response so now that we have received this response so pably connect is having this trigger response and it will transfer it to the action application our action application is microsoft excel and we will choose the action event as add row to worksheet so here add row to worksheet is the action event we are working upon click on connect and add new connection now because it is a microsoft application we are going to connect it via that account and click on that button it will automatically detect your account you just have to scroll down come to here and click access click on yes giving access to pably connect to add new row in your spreadsheet over here so this is the spreadsheet now once it is connected you will have to choose your workbook so open this drop down menu and here you will find your workbook so what is the name of your workbook it is science exhibition which is this one you've chosen your workbook and worksheet is going to be just one because we have just one sheet over here now when we have chosen the book and sheet over here we will map the data in each and every column that we have received from our trigger application so like here you can see we have column a b c d and e with all those field names that we have given so let us map the first name open your drop down menu where you will find insert data from previous step which means you have to map that data so that every time a new form is submitted a new data will be mapped here automatically and then it will be filled over here by on its own so open this drop down menu which is the first name this is the first name what is the last name similarly you have to map all of these subject was biology then the topic was photosynthesis and in the end the class was 10a so i am going to map it and simply click on save and send test request now that you have received a response you will see that all these values are updated it will show you the row range till where it was up, it has updated the cells and all the details related to that ms excel spreadsheet now since we have received a response and there is no error let us close this window for your action application and then we will see our sheet where we will refresh and we will be having the data yes first name last name subject topic and class is here so every time we do a form submission over here automatically our spreadsheet will be updated so let us again do a form submission with another name of the student and different details here are the details first last first name last name subject topic and class has been filled i will simply click on submit form and when i'll go back here let us refresh it again and we have received the data of the name last name subject topic and class of the student that we just now filled the form for so like you can see over here zoho form detects the instant form submission and then fills it up to your microsoft excel spreadsheet like you have created the automation for so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect If you have any issue regarding Pably, you can email us at support at pably dot com. You can ask your queries at forum dot pably dot com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.